and especially seniors, turning through is a part of the golf swing that cannot be forgotten. Focusing on this part of the golf swing may be your key to maintaining distance. Swinging the golf club down while turning the left hip out of the way allows the golf club to stay on path all the way to the finish. Now, since you can't practice the moment of impact, I have given you some tools so you can understand what it feels like to hit the golf ball square. Now, what do you do from there? Just because you arrive at impact with the face one degree closed and on the correct arc, you can't stop there. But during the downswing and just before impact, let me show you what was taking place. Remember the left hip had moved an inch or two and now it's time to turn it back and out of the way. So after impact, as the golf club leaves the ground, it has to swing around on an arc and the path will take you all the way up to the finish. Remember that if you continue to move the left hip out of the way, the arms and hands down the target line and your right heel will be in the air. Now let me explain to you what happens with the upper body. Just before impact, the left shoulder is starting to clear out of the way. After impact, the left shoulder is still turning back out of the way and your chest has now moved in front of the golf ball. But at this point, your arms and hands are gonna pull you around and turn you through. So the speed of your arms and hands after impact continue so you can turn through over to the left side. Now, let me explain to, something to you about your shoulders. Just after impact, as your shoulder, your left shoulder is turning out of the way, your shoulders become level to the ground. And at this point, your arms are gonna swing up. But at the finish, your shoulders are level to the ground you're standing on. When you're at the top of the backswing and you start down, this is where you begin to generate club head speed. And just as it enters into the back of the golf ball, the golf club is swinging as fast as it will during the swing. Then it makes contact all the way to the finish. A, that's where you get club head speed and that's how the golf ball travels further. And hopefully you've crossed it over so it has right to left spin, which will give it even a little bit more distance. Let's take a couple seconds and talk about what happens after impact to the finish if you're not on plane. For starters, most of you swing the golf club a little too much from out to in. So after impact, the golf club travels too close to you. And sometimes you'll see a divot running to the left. And you'll also find out that you're over on your right side. You have to keep this in mind. This is a result. You're not gonna fix this by simply turning through. You have to fix it with the path of the golf club. So from time to time, if you find yourself in this position and you say to yourself, well, I just didn't turn through, that's no good. The reason you didn't turn through is from the top of the downswing, you swung the golf club too much from out to in and that stopped you from getting over to the left side. On the other hand, as you swing the golf club into the back of the golf ball, if your right shoulder turns too soon, it will make you come over to your left side too much. Again, there are two completely different mistakes that you might make with the bottom half of your golf swing. The first one, the most common one, is when you swing back down, you stay on your right side. And even though you swing the golf club back on the arc and you give it a hit, you're cheating yourself out of a lot of distance because all you're doing now is swinging the golf club with your arms and hands. You might be able to make decent contact with the golf ball, but you're not gaining the distance that you should be or could be if you combine turning through with that. The second mistake, take a close look at my left hip. In the downswing, as you swing the golf club back down, the left hip moves to the left a little bit and then it turns out of the way. But if you leave the left hip there without turning out of the way, 
you'll hit a lot of balls off to the right and you'll hit them short and thin. So when you swing the club down, whatever you do, make sure you get over to the left side, but that you make sure the right foot comes up in the air. 